Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon, and welcome to a beautiful day here on Mackinac Island, riding on the coast. And I'm so thrilled to introduce you to my beautiful family. I have Reed Aaron Barnwell here on the blue bike. River James Barnwell sitting shotgun to my lovely wife, Karen Barnwell. And we are riding out to British Landing, where we live on the back side of the island, to do some planting at our 120 year old cabin and we're going to plant up a really gorgeous little window box i've got my two helpers that are going to help me it's going to be a fun video for you guys let's dive in All right, so here we are, everybody, out at British Landing at our 120-year-old deer log cabin. And we are finally getting a chance this spring to plant up this old window box that is near and dear to me. I built this when we first bought the cabin, and, uh, and, I, and I love planting it up every year. This year, however, I have my sidekicks here, my helpers, Reed and River, that are going to help me plant it up. So we're going to... Um, We've got a lot of beautiful plant material and that this is going to be the best year yet. I, I know it. It's going to be stunning. So um, we're going to start, guys, with putting our Proven Winners Premium Potting Soil in. And this is the potting soil that we use for all of our plantings here on the island. Uh, it's a really nice, soilless, fluffy, fluffy mix. Can you guys reach into here and break up the soil a little bit? Yeah, break up those chunks. Oh, that's high, isn't it, man? All right, hold on. I'll, I'll lift you up there in a second. We need one more bag, don't we? Yeah. We need one more bag. Here. Uh. All right, Reb. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to start with our base, or our core planting. And our core planting is going to be these boldly red, beautiful geraniums because this stunning hanging basket that we have right here on the shed oh, already geraniums. features those geraniums, that's right. And it also has that amethyst mist verbena, which is really pretty, those mm -hmm. blue ones, yeah. and diamond frost, the white ones that Euphorbia, that we know Mama loves. Yeah. So we're gonna feature those red geraniums in this box. So River, will you hand me some of those red geraniums? get some of those in here. Oh, we'll fill this box right up to about inch or so shy of the top. Get that in there. It's hard to get, isn't it? It's stuck in there? There you go. Here you go, Riff. Okay, set that in the box there, River. Okay. So, boldly red geraniums. I've got these in gallons. Um, because I like to get a nice big healthy geranium um, to really get a kickstart because they're not quite as vigorous. We're only going to use five of them in this box, so we have an extra one for, for a friend. Um, so when planting these, you can see they're really quite well rooted already. I'm going to just tuck those right in. Those are going to be kind of center planted. I'm going to keep this very end one off of the end a little bit because I know I'm going to want to tuck something into that end corner to cascade off that side. And otherwise we're spreading these right down and they're nice, big, healthy geraniums, really well rooted. And you'll also notice that I'm not ripping at or really tearing at these roots. And that's because 
these roots are really, really fine. Look how we got to be very gentle. They're just babies. These are young, young plants. And we don't want to tear at those roots because that can put this plant into shock and scare the plant a little bit and make it kind of freeze and not grow very much. That's right. So it's actually with these young annuals, it's better to not really disturb the roots at all unless they're really root bound and then we just tickle them a little bit, okay? So the next thing we're gonna tuck in there is gonna be, that's right, some rosemary. And I like sneaking in some herbs and stuff like that, some strawberries, different things into planters for fun. And these rosemary plants are gonna be tall and spiky and, uh, and have a lot of fragrance when we're in this window box deadheading and working and, and picking flowers for mama. So that's right, you gotta squeeze the bottom a little and pull it right out. And grab that last fourth one there, River. We're gonna tuck those right in toward the back between those geraniums. Can you lift me up? Good job, I can lift you up, yep. We don't ever plant the tags because they don't grow into billboards. <laughs> but, you know, a big sign. They just don't grow very well. So now we got the rosemary in there. Next, we're gonna, nope, we're gonna grab those spiralis, that really cool grass. That's a really, really neat grass, and we need, let's say, three of them. We need three of those spiralis grasses. This is an awesome, awesome juncus grass that has like a curly perm to it. Aren't those fun, guys? Mm -hmm. I love them. So we're gonna tuck those in kind of shooting and spiraling right out the front. And we're getting all of our foliage and our kind of texture going first before we get a lot of the color packed in here. Good job, I can get it out for you, thank you. All right, now, guys, now we get into the color and the fun. So we yes. got that spiralis yes. spread on, yes. All right. So let's put in this beautiful, beautiful lobelia and these awesome supertunias. So this is an improved royal velvet out? supertunia. How do we get it out? And look at that velvety, velvety color. It's like the most incredible velvet. They've improved that color there. Look at that. Oh, pick it up in the light. Wow. It's really, really intense. It's like dark, dark velvety. So we're gonna tuck just a few of those royal velvets out the front and I'll place them and you guys can plant them, okay? So these are, look at, they've been in the pots for just a few too many days but they're ready to spill out right in the front there. So I'm gonna tuck them, you plant them in. Yeah, and this is that lobelia. That's gonna be wild and fun and lacy in toward the back. And even if by the end of the summer, this lobelia kind of fades, you sure can hold that for me. It's gonna fade just a little bit, but by then all these other plants are gonna be so big that it won't matter. So that lobelia, we're spreading out right toward the back. I don't even need that. We just use our hands. Oh, okay, put it in that hole right there, Riff. Perfect job, River. All right, guys. Now our last and final royal velvet. We have one, two, right one, two, three. Yeah, that's a good spot for it. I'm gonna spread them evenly out. Then I also really love, this is a new um, sweet potato vine called Medusa. It's coming out next year from Proven Winners. Look at that Medusa, like, isn't that awesome? Do you love those? Yes, yes, me yes. too. Okay, so let's spread them out evenly. I'm gonna put one in the very end. So put one in the very end, and then one in the middle. I can lift you up, yes, I can lift you up. Okay, here's your hole, Rev. Ready? Ugh. Perfect, perfect, River James. Let me see. Well, it's, instead of pushing the soil that way, we'll push it back and then tuck it right in like that. Right out the front, okay? Now, I also wanted to yes. feature some of these, yes, yes. these begonias. Yes. I know you guys love these so much. 
They're super cool, but let's, so we've got two different colors. These are called Double Delight Begonias. They're coming out next year as well. And I really like this kind of peachy color with the purpley reds and the blues we have going. So again, let's spread the these three, the blues that we already have in here. Let's spread these three evenly toward the front. And these are typically like a shade loving plant right there. There's a perfect pocket for it, Rev. Right there, put it in, boom. These are typically more shade loving and this box does get a lot of sun a little later in the afternoon. But with all this other plant material, it's gonna be a nice moist environment. I think these begonias are gonna thrive. They kind of come out and they have a little bit of a trailing habit to them. So that's gonna be really, really stunning. And I'm gonna love that a lot. Last but not least, <laughs> these are a new lobularia called Moonlight. And this is, so white night and dark night have been out for a few years now and they're a really impressive lobularia kind of a, a new take on grandma's old alyssum and this has like this yellowy tinge to it that's really going to be pretty in here so we've got some gaps that are still remaining if we look for them and these will actually compete no. yep yeah. yep these will compete with those super tunias and do quite well and we can actually dot these in toward the uh toward the back and, and zigzag them in a little bit because they'll sort of just fluff out and trail and all this other stuff will be totally fine interplaying with this lacy little moonlight. We'll put this final one there and there. Look at that, 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 that. They're gonna play tag together. And that looks pretty good guys, don't you think? Yeah. Yeah. And last but not least, what do we need to do? No, water. that's right, we need to water them in. So we've got our watering cans, we need to fill those up, water it in, clean off our box a little bit, and then you guys need to help me take care of this all summer long. Alright y'all, thank you so much for watching today. Uh, that was a lot of fun planting up this little window box here for the season with my sweet boys. Let us know in the comments below if you'd like to see us do a video walkthrough of all the other gardens out here. Uh, we're getting a whole big veggie garden and stuff in. We're getting chickens this summer. <laughs> and uh, I know that there's a tremendous amount of weeding to do but, uh, but our, our gardens do feature some really, really cool plants and some new ones that we're trialing and stuff like that from a lot of our friends at uh, Proven Winners. And we'd love to show them to you. So let us know if you'd like to see that. We'll try and get that video done here soon. Uh, thanks. See you guys in the next video.